Hi, my name is Patrick Reagan. Welcome to the networking series of videos where we go in depth of the networking for client computers. Part 6, TCP IP Suite, Ports and Protocols, covers the Internet Protocol, Transmission Control Protocol, User Datagram Protocol, TCP IP Ports, Web Pages, DNS, Email Services, File Transfer Protocols, DHCP, and LDAP. For those who are going to take the A-plus exam, there are practice questions toward the end of the video. The TCP IP protocol suite is the de facto protocol used with the internet in corporate networks. With the TCP IP protocol suite, TCP IP does not worry about how the host or computers or other network connections connect to the network. Instead, TCP IP was designed to operate over nearly any underlying local or wide area network. The lowest protocol within the TCP IP suite is the Internet Protocol, which is primarily responsible for addressing and routing packets between hosts. A host is a computer or device that is running TCP IP. IP is a connectionless protocol, which means that there's no established connection between the endpoints that are communicating. IP does not guarantee any deliveries, including packets getting lost or packets delivered out of sequence or delayed. Instead, it must rely on TCP to determine that the data arrived successfully at and its destination and to retransmit the data if it did not. The Transmission Control Protocol is a reliable connection-oriented delivery service that breaks the data into manageable packets, wraps them with information needed to route them to its destination, and then reassemble the pieces at the receiving end of the communication link. It establishes a virtual connection between the two hosts or computers so that they can send messages back and forth for a period of time. A virtual connection appears to be always connected, but in reality is made of many packets being sent back and forth independently. The most important information in the header includes the source and destination port numbers, a sequence number for the datagram, and a checksum. TCP uses acknowledgments to verify that the data is received by the other host. If an acknowledgement is not sent, the data is resent. In addition, since the data packets can be delivered out of order, the TCP protocol must put the packets back into the correct order. The User Datagram Protocol, or UDP, does not use acknowledgements to ensure data delivery. The UDP is considered unreliable, best effort delivery. Since it's considered unreliable, UDP is used for protocols that transmit small amounts of data at one time or for broadcasts or packets sent to everyone. Note that unreliable does not mean that packets will not get delivered. It's just that there's no guarantee or check to make sure that they get to their destination. Remember, TCP is connection oriented, which has a formal connection set up and close. It ensures reliable delivery because of the use of acknowledgements. It has overhead compared to UDP. Some of the connections oriented protocols include HTTPS, FTP, and SSH. UDP is connectionless. It has no error recovery or reordering of data or no flow control. Since it's not used acknowledgement, it's quicker than TCP. Some connectionless protocols include DHCP and TFTP. Every time a TCP IP host communicates with another TCP IP host, it will use the IP address and port number to identify the host and service or program running on the host. A TCP IP port number is a logical connection placed by client programs to specify a particular server program running on the computer on the network defined at the transport layer. The source port number identifies the network application or service that sends data, and the destination port number identifies the application that receives the data. Port numbers are from 0 to 65,536. There are two types of ports, TCP and UDP, that are based on the respective protocols. Today, the very existence of ports and their numbers is typically transparent to the users of the network, as many ports are standardized. Well-known ports are the most commonly used TCP IP ports, which are in the range of 0 through 1023. For example, when you connect to the web server, to open a web page, you send a request to port 80 and or port 443. When it gets to the server, the port 80 and 443 indicate the web services running on the server. 
When the web server responds, it will assign a port to the requesting computer. Each requester will have its own port, so it can keep track of multiple requesters. This allows the service or network application to communicate simultaneously with multiple clients. A web page is a hypertext document on the web that is delivered by web server to the user using the web browser. The web pages are delivered via the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or HTTP. HTTP or HTTPS creates connections via TCP. HTTP, which uses port 80, has content sent in clear text or non-encrypted text. HTTPS, which uses port 443, has content sent as encrypted content via secure sockets layer or transport layer security. Initial encryption is done using keys stored in a digital certificate. Domain Name System, or DNS, is used to resolve names to IP addresses. When you type in a URL in a browser or you try to connect to a server or computer, DNS will resolve the name of the server or computer to an IP address. DNS uses port 53. Early DNS uses UDP, but more recent versions were upgraded with reliability, security, and privacy, which uses TCP. Email can be accessed and delivered using a variety of protocols, including POP3, IMAP, and SMTP. The Post Office Protocol version 3, or POP3 protocol, is used to retrieve email and save the email to the local device by using TCP port 110. The Internet Message Access Protocol, or IMAP protocol, is used to retrieve email using TCP port 143. Since IMAP is intended to keep the email on the mail server, it is a good option when you have two or more people checking the same mailbox or a user wants email access for multiple devices. The Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, or SMTP, is an older protocol used to send emails using TCP port 25. NetBIOS over TCP IP is a networking protocol that allows legacy computer applications to rely on the NetBIOS API to be used on modern TCP IP networks. NetBIOS provides three distinct services. The name service for name registration and resolution uses ports 137 UDP and 137 TCP. The Datagram distribution service for connectionless communications for port 138 UDP and the session service for connection-oriented communication uses port 139 TCP. NetBIOS is used with the SMB CIFS file shares. The File Transfer Protocol, or FTP, is a standard communication protocol used for the transfer of computer files from a server to a client on a computer network. FTP is built on the client-server model architecture using separate control and data connections between the client and the server. It uses TCP port 21 for control and port 20 for data transfer. The Trivia File Transfer Protocol, or TFTP, is a simpler file transfer protocol that uses UDP port 69. It does not use acknowledgments. It's still used by some networking equipment to back up configuration information. If you decide to use Trivial FTP, you need to ensure you have a reliable network. Today, typical users will use other file transfer mechanisms such as OneDrive, Dropbox, Box, or HTTP. Server Message Block, or SMB, also known as Common Internet File System, or CIFS, is a communication protocol that provides access to shared files and printers. Its resources are accessed resources via UNC path which uses the slash slash server name slash share name format. It uses TCP port 445. The Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or DHCP, is a client server protocol that automatically provides an IP host with its IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and other IP configuration information. DHCP server listens on UDP port 67 and client listens to UDP port number 68. The DHCP process begins with clients broadcasting a request. If the client and server are on a different broadcast domains or subnets, the request will be seen by the DHCP helper or DHCP relay agent, which will relay the request to a DHCP server. Remember, broadcasts don't go through routers.
Telnet, short for Teletype Network, is a client-server application protocol that provides access to virtual terminals of remote systems on local area networks or the internet. Telnet allows you to connect to a remote computer and run commands as if you were at the computer. Telnet consists of two components, the protocol itself, which specifies how two parties to communicate, and the software application that provides the service. Telnet transmits all information, including the username and passwords in plain text, so it is not recommended for security-sensitive applications, such as remote management of routers. Because of this, Telnet is not used much today. Telnet uses TCP port 23. Secure Shell, or SSH, provides a cryptographic network protocol for operating system network services securely over an unsecured network. It's usually used as remote login and command line execution, but also used for file transfers. It can transfer files using the associated SSH file transfer, or SFTP, or secure copy SCP protocols. It uses port 22. The Simple Network Management Protocol, or SNMP, is an internet standard protocol for collecting and organizing information about managed devices on IP networks and for modifying that information to change device behaviors. SNMP is widely used in network management for networking monitoring. The SNMP agent receives requests on UDP port 161 and the SNMP manager receives notifications on port 162. SNMP versions include version 1, which is the original standard that sends data in clear text. Version 2 is an improved version that supports data type enhancements and bulk transfers in clear text. And version 3 is a secure standard that supports message integrity, authentication, and encryption. The Remote Desktop Protocol, or RDP, is a proprietary protocol developed by Microsoft Corporation which provides a user with a graphical interface to connect to another computer over a network connection. It presents the desktop of the remote computer and allows you to use your keyboard and pointing device on the desktop. By default, the server listens on TCP and UDP port 3389. Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, or LDAP, is an open vendor neutral industry standard application protocol for accessing and maintaining distributed directory information services over the Internet Protocol, or IP network. Directory services allows the finding and sharing information about users, systems, networks, services, and applications throughout the network. This slide and the next slide shows a summary of these protocols. Question, what is the primary protocol suite used on the internet? Answer, TCP IP. Question, in the TCP IP protocol suite, what is the reliable connection-oriented delivery service that uses acknowledgements to verify packets are delivered? Answer, TCP.
Question. Which is faster, UDP or TCP? Answer, UDP. Question. When a TCP IP host communicates with the server, how is the service or program identified on the server? Answer, by port. Question, what port does the following network services use? Answer, HTTP is port 80, HTTPS is port 443, SMTP is port 25, and FTP is port 20 and 21. For more information, refer to the listed sites. In summary, TCP IP protocol suite is the de facto protocol used with the internet and corporate networks. The lowest protocol within the TCP IP suite is the Internet Protocol, or IP, which is primarily responsible for addressing and routing packets between hosts. The Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP, is a reliable connection-oriented delivery service that uses acknowledgments to verify that the data was received by the other host. The User Datagram Protocol, or UDP, does not use acknowledgments to ensure data delivery. Every time a TCP IP host communicates with another TCP IP host, it will use the IP address and port number to identify the host and service program running on the host. Thank you for watching this video. The next video will be Networking Part 7 IP Version 4. Thank you.